Hello, I'm Theo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks, and today we're going to unbox and give you a quick review of this blue car adjustable stand for phones and tablets. When travelling, sometimes it might be actually useful to have your phone or tablet on a stand, especially if you're going to, say, be making a long video call home to speak to the family or, more importantly, to watch video or, and entertain yourself. In this case, I purchased this blue car stand from AliExpress, or was it Amazon? No, it was Amazon I bought it on. And it's a pretty straightforward uh, tablet or phone stand. It has two hinges and three elements to it. It's very straightforward. So let's look at it once we take it out of its bag. So the case is made out of cardboard, there's plastic and the paper literature, but the device itself is made out of aluminium and it folds up into this handy size. Now this is very good as in it's very portable, it wouldn't take much space in, for example, uh, your hand luggage. Now what happens is you unfold it and the bit with the paper at the bottom, but more importantly the four rubber stands, is the base and then you fold out your holder like this. Now, this phone grip, this phone element, should be enough to take most phones and tablets. So what we're going to do is try this out, first of all, with the Google Pixel 6 XL. So I'm going to start off in, in this case, landscape mode, fits perfectly, and in portrait mode, it does the same. I'll lift the camera up a little so you get a bit more of a view here. So it works great in both angles and you can adjust the angle according to your needs. Now if you see it at the side, it seems to be well balanced because of that hefty metal base uh, it, and a relatively, uh, relatively tough hinge, it seems to handle the Google Pixel 6 Pro quite handle uh, quite well. Now let's try, for example, the iPhone 13 Pro, a slightly smaller but heftier device, especially when it has a shockproof case on it like this. It fits perfectly well in portrait mode and in landscape. Though I would warn you, with the iPhone, you have volume buttons and the power button there. If, for example, you're going to be watching some media on your device, you might run into a problem if you don't make sure the power button is in the gap between the hooks for the device. So it works perfectly well for the iPhone 13 Pro, um, which is slightly heftier than other smartphones. Let's take it a step further and see how it handles a 10.1 inch Amazon Fire tablet, in this case, the Fire HD 10. This is the 2019 model, so it's even bigger than the current HD10 and HD10 Plus, and when it's in landscape mode, there is a slight wobble. So with bigger, oh no, once you put it in its base, it does, does still wobble, but it's not as bad as it was. And in portrait mode, um, yes, it does struggle a little here. Um, I'm using it well balanced in the middle. It does have a little bit of wobble there. But I'd say for the price, this is less than £10 on Amazon UK. We'll put the link in the description. For the price, uh, this is a pretty decent uh, stand to travel with. It will handle most devices as we saw. And the great thing is, if you're holding it in portrait mode and your smartphone is, say, like the iPhone or the Google Pixel 6 Pro, both devices have their charging port in the middle. If you're holding it in portrait mode, you will have, in this case, space to put your charger in. So you'll be able to charge your device as well as make that uh, long video call. So overall, I have to say this stand, I'm quite happy with it. It's having spent what was, let me just check the price. Yeah, it was 6.99. I think this is a decent buy for a tablet stand, tablet and phone stand for traveling with. So we'll leave a link in the description to where you can find out more about this. Thanks for watching. 
if you made it this far and if you don't already please do subscribe to the tech travel geeks here on youtube as well as gadgets and accessories such as stands for devices we review devices gadgets and do some experiences uh, regarding travel and tech that we think is relevant to our channel but for now thanks for watching this video unboxing and quick review of the blue car stand goodbye from me